Frank, would you allow me to say a few words? Firstly, thank you very much, Richard and everyone at the World um, Branding Forum and your inaugural World Branding Awards. Uh, it's been a very painful evening for me. First of all, I'm sitting next to a Chelsea supporter. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, I'm reminded of my horrific experience in Formula One uh, <laughs> through uh, David, who's actually a very good friend and a supporter of a fine football club called West Ham United. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled to get this. Uh, when we started Air Asia um, 12 years ago, we always thought about brands. We always thought about building brands. And uh, I came from the music business. I actually knew nothing about airlines. I saw Stelios on TV uh, one day after I decided to leave the music business because everyone was pirating music. And I'm sure no one in this room has ever bought anything pirated because you're all respectable <laughs> brand citizens. And uh, I quit my job at uh, Warner Music um, and was sitting in Spaniards in thinking about what I was going to do for the rest of my life. And I saw Stelios on TV talking about EasyJet. I thought, wow, that looks interesting. So I took a bus up to Luton Airport and then saw people flying to Barcelona for eight pounds and Paris for six pounds. And I thought, right, I'm going to start an airline. Now there's a fine line between brilliance and stupidity. <laughs> it's very, very narrow, but uh, I went for it. And uh, lo and behold, uh, here we are at AirAsia. And we started AirAsia, you know, we had two planes, no one knew us to all 737s that we picked up from the desert. Um, I won't tell you which desert. And we weren't sure whether they were, you know, um, whether they were flying a safe airline, whether they had to carry their bags onto the plane themselves, whether they'd be sitting next to a chicken. And I thought, well, now it's time to brand this airline. And we, we changed the airline into red. And um, we sponsored a football team called Manchester United. Uh, and there, behold, became our brand. And um, we went from two planes to, as this very fine gentleman said, to 170 planes. We started with 200,000 pass 200, passengers in our first year. And this year we'll carry 55 uh, million passengers, which has been quite uh, a story. Um, but i just leave one point, and we've always talked, about, whenever you think about branding, you think about external branding, you know, um, sponsoring Match United, painting your planes red, etc. But a lot of what we spent at Air Asia was internal branding, and building an amazing culture. The, the success of the airline is down to the people. We have 12,000 amazing staff at Air Asia, and we, we have a department called the Culture Department that really spends time bringing the best out of people. My job is to turn a raw diamond into a diamond. <laughs> I just say to all you brand builders out there that I think internal branding plays a large, large part in the success of a brand. It is the people that deliver the brand promise. It is the people that deliver the brand um, and make the brand what it is. You can put a million ads out there for the people that carry that brand. And we, we did things very differently, you know. Once a month I, I carry bags, uh, once every two months I'm a carry crew, and once every three months I check in because it is the toughest job in the world. Um, but we do that for two reasons. We do that to, one, to understand the operation, and two, to really get to know our staff. And I'll tell you two little stories before I end. One was, you know, when we moved from 737 to the Airbus, a few inches taller, and as we all know, a few inches make a big difference. And we used, to, uh, we used to throw the bags into the plane on the 737, actually not throw them, lovingly put them onto the plane. <laughs> nice bag. And uh, my, my boy said to me, no, we require um, belt loaders. It's too difficult to put it onto the Airbus 320. So I said, no, 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 it's too expensive. And the next time I was doing bags, they put me on the Indonesian flights. Basically, people who fly with us generally fly with their house. People who fly to Indonesia fly with their neighbor's house as well. So I almost destroyed my back in the process and I decided to um, buy the bell loaders. But the object of the lesson was through doing this, I met so many bright kids in my company that had, you know, was really was so much smarter than me, but just never had money for further education. 
So we had our first pilot program. We opened it up to everyone in the company. We said, it didn't matter where you had O levels, A levels, whatever. If you want to be a pilot, we would support you. And of our first 18 cadets, 11 came from within the company. And to, just three years ago, a boy who carried bags for us in a small part of East Malaysia became a captain of a brand new Airbus. So you imagine joining the company to carry bags. Eight years later, you're a captain of an A320. That was what our brand stood for. And that's what we've always told people, that you can dream, you can do anything you want. We always say dream the unbelievable, believe the unbelievable, and never take no for an answer. Um, because from that, little miracles can happen. And one day, we will be Chelsea, and that's my dream. Thank you very much.